Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. This is going to be take two on this video because um, I started the video and I paused it to go on to the next step. And when I looked up, my uh, camera had swung down and it was filming my side of my desk. Um, so I got about 30 seconds of this uh, being filmed and then it stopped. So we're going to just do it again. So what I'm working on today is a collage strip master board. And they are strips because they're going to be put onto these pieces of paper, which is a book from the Dollar Tree. So it's a Dollar Twenty Five book, and with hundreds and hundreds of pages in it. So it's a uh, pretty pretty sturdy. Uh, the pages are nine by six, which is perfect to um, use in junk journals. Now, uh, in the previous video, um, I had uh, since I had stopped this and finished it. Uh, this last page was not done so that I could show how I bridged the two pages together. Um, I really can't show that because there's no bridge now because I did finish it off. But we're just going to pretend that there was and there is. And we're going to go from there. So uh, normally what I do on these, and this is hugely long. I'm going to show it to you at the end. Is um, I will put uh, two, two pages down. And then I will start by putting some sort of paper to bridge the gap to hook the two together. So we're gonna do that, pretending that there is a gap that needs to be bridged. Well, technically there is, it's there, but. All right, so we're gonna go through. Um, I'm going to burnish it down. This I also found at the Dollar Tree, which is an excellent item to have if you uh, uh, don't have one of these. You can use a credit card, anything else. Um, but it helps when you're doing gluing these down because any air bubbles in there is going to hopefully get squished out so that when you go to cut it there's not a gap and that's what usually happens all right so we're going to go ahead and i'm going to put that there and just trying to bridge the gap so the pages go together and for this collage master board i really don't have a theme for it um, what I have is um, a bunch of papers because what had happened, and the reason I decided to do this, even though I just did a collage, I don't know if you saw that one yet, but I did a beautiful blues and pinks collage uh, master board that I had some intention to do for some digital kits I have. Uh, but this is just going to be for funsy to have just um, random colors. Uh, journal cards, belly bands, um, tags, whatever I want for it, just to have some bases laying around. And this is a perfect size for belly bands because this height right here is the height of a normal page. So you can just cut some strips off and you got some pre-made belly bands. And I actually have a fun project that I'm going to be working on soon with uh, belly bands. So yeah, it's a good, good time to make some. But the reason that I decided to do another collage, I think I started it selling this and then I got sidetracked, was I have a um, ton of my scraps in uh, this folder. I still have a ton in there, uh, but it somehow was sitting in my case like this and it got hooked on something else and ripped open and everything fell out um, onto the floor. I had to go and pick up all my scraps off the floor and I said to myself self you need you need a serious um, scrap busting project so here it is and I cut that too small yes I did oh well we'll figure it out so I decided to do this Instead of like a master board like I did on the, the other kind where we have a one major page and do that, I decided to do this long uh, strip project. And you'll see how long it is when I get to, to the end here because it's huge. I'm kind of amazed at how big it is actually myself. Okay. Now, I'm not really looking for 
colors per se to match on this when I do it. I'm not really, I'm looking to see where it will cover the background mostly. That is, that is what I'm, that is what I'm most concerned with at this point is will it cover the background? Put a couple more out here. I wasn't planning on doing this extra page. Like I said, I was done <laughs> with it and then And then came my camera catastrophe as I look up to make sure it's being okay. All right, here's a few more. All right, so as I was doing this project, what I would have done, or what I was doing, was as I got close to this end, um, I would shift it down. This is just holding it down weight-wise so it doesn't keep falling. I would shift it down, add another page so that I could go over it with the strip. But since we're gonna call this one done, I'm just gonna, like I did before, I'm just gonna end the page. So after I finish this, a few more pieces here, what I'm gonna do is uh, pause the video and clean those strips up. And then we'll come back and um, cut a few pieces off and I have um, some ideas for um, some things to decorate. Now I like adding, I did this and you'll see it earlier, um, I added just some strips of signature kind of things to it just to oh perfect just to add a little bit of whoops fun to them now there's a chance even when these get cut up that pieces like that will get completely hidden I have no glue sheet by what uh, whatever you focal point you decide to stick on there but maybe it won't maybe it'll be just like adding a tag to it. All right, let's I think I like that. Let's go that. Let's use this. As I check the camera again, I'm all paranoid that that arm is going to start sliding down. So I'm going to show you this huge strip. Uh, now, when I did the first video, I did count it. And at that point, there was 15 pages. So now that I added that, there is 16 book pages um, involved with this. Um, yeah, fun stuff. So there we go. I'm just going to fold it at the half bookmark page. coming up here. And I got little bits of everything. Stripes and florals and uh, words. There's another one of those signature things. Uh, solids, uh, some shapes, music. One of those 
before is that's one of those strips from uh, like a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Oh, I actually use words there. I was going to say, oh, I forgot to cover that, but that actually is on top. Some stamps and music and letters. pile of strips of some fun stuff right okay gonna pause the video and um, I'll be back we'll cut a little bit of these apart and uh, we'll go ahead and decorate some stuff all right I am back and I have um, done a little prep work and actually have made two uh, cards of the samples that we are going to or I am going to continue to make so um, here's the first one and um, I took a simple um, advertisement here um, from this collection. Um, this is from Timeless Treasures on Etsy. Um, I believe it's from two different kits. Um, I will link the uh, two kits down below. And um, I, I liked them because they were uh, advertisements that had some color to them um, versus uh, a lot of the advertisements see black and white. Um, not that I, I love those two, but I thought these were kind of fun. So um, I got this recently, cut it up, and I thought this would be perfect because some color, these are colorful. I, I thought it would be a great uh, match. Um, so the other thing that I did is I pulled, um, I've got these uh, collection of small books. Uh, I used a atlas recently on something, and um, I pulled dictionary and a spelling dictionary. The dictionary is a regular dictionary, but then the spelling dictionary just has uh, letters. And um, I thought those would be kind of fun to pull a page off um, like that, rip it up, and use it just to, um, I don't know what you want to call it, um, give a buffer. I did add it to this one uh, for that. Uh, this one, I just took a bigger one of the ads and centered it as best I could, so it kind of just looks like a frame around it. Um, I have added some of my washi strips that I made recently and some of my faux stamps that I made recently. And I will link both of those videos because those were both very, very, very fun projects to make. So um, simple um, from such a complicated background, just adding one focal point and a little accessory. And oh, and I did a little bit of stamping from my, I wonder what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Got some extra stuff in there, it looks like. Um, did my stamping from uh, coffee stains. Just to add a little bit of uh, interest to it. So, yeah, simple. All right, so what I did off camera is I took uh, one of these. I took the whole package that I had, and I cut it down to two sheets wide. Two pages wide. I'm going to get these out of the way. And then I did go and throw a... Uh, backing paper on there. It is just a harder, I wouldn't even call it cardstock. It. I actually do print digitals on these occasionally when I want something a little bit off-white and thicker, but um, I thought it would be a great background for these because it's a little thicker. Stabilize that front. Now if I had some thoughts, forethought, um, I could go through and collage on the back of those uh, book pages with uh, just coffee dyed paper or the strips of book pages that you rip off that are blank, uh, stuff like that. Um, you know, anything that you have that's blank, go through and collage the whole back on that. Um, but this I found was extremely easy to do because it's just one sheet and it's done. All right, so what I did after I did that was I did go through and trim the edges off uh, for these. Now, where I cut it originally, it's not too bad. And uh, this side must have been the beginning because I see stuff hanging off that side. So I'm just going to trim it down just to get rid of that edge. And I'm not worried that it's not as wide as that backing paper. That, that doesn't bother me at all. All right, but I'm going to trim the top and bottom down just to get rid of those overlaps. And the other side. Okay. 
Yeah, so it doesn't get rid of much of the paper, just gets the, cleans up the edge a little bit. All right, so next what I did is I ended up cutting it in half to make the journal cards. Now, like I said, again, um, if I wanted to make a uh, belly band out of these, I could go ahead and um, cut strips and make belly bands out of these. If I wanted to make some uh, smaller tags, I could figure out that size. Um, but for this project today, I'm gonna do just journal cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut, and I can see where the page, there's a little bump there. I can see where the page was divided before. So I'm gonna just divide that. And what are these about? I forget these are about nine, right? So we're gonna go and I'm gonna eyeball it just to make it where that line is, just to put, there we go, just to keep it. And I think I'm gonna cut a little bit more because that got added kind of crooked. There, that's better. <laughs> I feel a little better now. All right, and then this one, do the same. Now, a lot of times when I do these collage boards, I do them upside down because I don't want to see what it looks like. But here, I'm just doing them so that I know that there's a uh, good line on there. That's a nice big one, a little smaller. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. And then, what we would do, and what I like to do is round the corners. Now, if I was gonna make some tags, I could go ahead and you know, square them off. But yes, yeah, so around the corner, that'd be a fun one to make. It's got a nice big area to do something. All right, I'm not gonna round the rest of these at the moment because I do have two from that first page that I've got rounded um, already. Okay, so this is another fun way you could go ahead and mass make some stuff if you wanted to because I mean, how simple is that? Now I just need to, there's some really big ones in there. I don't think I'll be needing those today. Maybe a little too big. Well, aren't you pretty? cut all these but I really didn't get a chance to go through and look at all of them. There's some really pretty ones in here. Oh I think oh, I think I found it. Oh I like that. Got the pink with that. Yes I like that one. Okay. sideways like a it could be cute okay all right I got three picked out and I forgot to ask earlier how your day was going hopefully it's going well I am filming this on Sunday and I um, it is a pretty day out today big fluffy clouds and again hot like usual uh, but yesterday boy we had some storms roll through last night um, I had to get up twice in the middle of the night to check on the house to make sure we were all still scanning because it was blowing like crazy we ended up losing um, getting knocked over in our yard we have some gazing balls and uh, they're on like stands and one of them uh, tipped over. Uh, luckily it didn't break, but uh, we also uh, got some of our lawn furniture was tossed about. 
and flipped around. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. I hear that, and I'm not sure, I didn't get a chance to look, but oh, I inked those already. I just gotta ink this one. Um, yesterday that there was a tornado up in Wisconsin. I'm not sure if it was at night or during the day. I didn't get a chance, I just saw a quick notation about it, so. Gotta love those storms. I would say spring storms, but technically it is summer. Okay, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that on there. I'm gonna just rip that bottom a little bit more. Oh, let me put that on that side. And I think I have a strip that will look fun with that. That and that one might be more. I like that one. Okay, let's see. We're gonna glue it down and then we'll see which one we want to do. And then for this one, it's gonna go sideways. I think I like that on the top. Yeah, I like it. Uh, this paper is, uh, the books are fairly new, so they really haven't yellowed too much. So I'm just gonna kind of grunge them up a little bit so they look a little bit more grungier. And I don't like the way that top looks, so I'm just gonna. For that, I wonder if I have the bird has red on there. That could be fun. A little mushroom down below. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Okay. All right, and then this one. one is gonna need actually you know what I think I want and I don't know where I put it I have my ink stuff I like that better. Okay. And we are 
gonna add I'm gonna add some of this. Okay. Alright, let's put that to the side and start a gluing. So it was just a thundering and a lightning and keeping me up all night. That is for sure. put that on that side, wasn't I? Okay. Oh well. I like this better. Okay. I think I like the contrast of the color and the greens up there. Kind of pulling the two together. For sure. So has anyone, if you haven't got, if you've gotten a chance to see this video, has anyone gotten a chance to try making some of these uh, washi strips or the stamp yet? So I'd love to hear how you like the process if you've uh, been able to create some. Oh yeah, fun, 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 fun. I love it. Do I want a little? There we go. Yeah, cute. That is a nice size journal card. I love it. Okay, next one. The birds. Time for the the birds. Yeah, I like these kind of journal cards when they're so easy to decorate. You don't have to fuss too much because the background really does add a lot of interest. Yeah, cute. All right, so this is gonna use the art glitter glue because the paper is much thicker. Probably should put the stamp up on the top, right? <laughs> Being it's supposed to be a stamp, but cute. Like I said, I could always. How wide is this one? So five and a half. I can always go ahead and put a little divot in there if I wanted to make it into a journal pocket. Cute. All right, those two are done. Tuck them back in their home, and this one. Well, I'd love to hear what you think about this. Is this something you would like to do? It is definitely uh, easy to do once the collage master boards are done. I'm gonna put it on that side. I have quite the habit of doing very, very similar things um, like that, how I put this stuff on the one side. And I gotta keep reminding myself that, uh, switch it up a little bit. And I think it all has to do with right handedness, how the one side of the brain works, kind of deal. I 
I think there's something about, you know, people who are creative use one side of the brain, people who are, you know, analytically use a different side of the brain. And I think that's where my problem lies because I am creative. I love doing creative stuff, but then I am also uh, analytical because uh, my career career involved a lot of math, doing accounting stuff for a long time with IBM and then doing management in Joann's. You had to be analytical there. I want to do the whole thing so I kind of I contradict myself a lot with how I am a little bit of this and a little bit of that which I guess is not that's definitely not a bad thing crash yeah cute I love these, these are fun. Yeah, simple, but effective, don't you know? All right, blue bag in. Move back in. All right, so I'm going to pull these together and show you the ones that I did on camera and the two that I did off camera. And I'm hoping today's video was a little bit more in camera. Um, I decided to use a, a mirror. I don't want to flash it up. But I had a mirror um, that I could hold above the camera because I have to tippy toe to see what's going on. And I can't really see because there's a glare. So unfortunately, I do apologize. Some of my videos can be off whack, but hopefully I'm going to be either going to be a lot better from going forward because um, I can see where I'm shooting. All right, so there is that one that I used. I did off camera, like I said. It a uh, bigger piece and it shows more of a frame, but I still think that's pretty effective. And that one, um, I like the, it's got the pink in the bell and the flower and the pink in the card over there. So the pink in the words, very fun. And then the three we did on camera, the last one I did, I really like that one. I wasn't sure with the very simple advertisement, but I think it came out really fun. Yeah. And then that one, pretty, pretty rose from the photographer. The washi strip with the stamps, very cute. And then finally, oh, this one going sideways, uh, the bird and the rose, and then we got the mushroom stamp. The L's. <laughs> yeah, fun. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, thumbs up would be great. Tells, uh, tells YouTube the kind of videos you like to see and the shows you more things like that. And then it shows them uh, to send to other people who like similar videos. So um, it definitely can help a gal out if you do a thumbs up. Uh, comments are also very helpful too. Uh, shows engagement and that people like the video. So um, if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. And if you have not subscribed to my uh, channel yet, um, I'd love to see you stick around and watch some more videos. I've got lots of ideas uh, in my head. I just got to get them on the paper, as they say. So, all right, well, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I hope you all have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.